Uh, my name is Tom Ross, and I'd like to uh, welcome everyone to Washington's Headquarters uh, Museum here in Morristown, New Jersey. And uh, it's a great day. We're celebrating the unveiling of uh, some new signs for the Crossroads of the American Revolution National Heritage Area. Our park here in Morristown, both uh, here at Washington's Headquarters and at Jockey Hollow at our visitor center, we serve as a gateway site for the Crossroads of the American Revolution National Heritage Area. And what that means is, is that uh, we have the visitor uh, facility infrastructure, uh, visitor centers, our, our, our park ranger staff, who can serve visitors who are traveling uh, through New Jersey, who are interested um, in uh, the American Revolution and uh, what happened here. On behalf of Crossroads of the American Revolution staff and board, I'm really pleased to be here today with our National Park Service partners, as well as the dignitaries that were mentioned here today, to unveil our newest welcome signage here in Morristown, where America survived. As we all know, it's not possible to tell the story of the American Revolution without discussing the winters that Washington and his troops endured here, including what's said to be the coldest winter on record. Explore the park's four units and the museum. Talk with the staff and you'll learn there are countless fascinating stories represented among the thousands of people who wintered at Morristown both right here and a few miles down the road. The signage we'll be unveiling today reminds visitors that they can extend their revolutionary experience beyond Morristown throughout the state. You'll also see two other similar signs on this property, as well as the entrances to Fort Nonsense and the New Jersey Brigade area. Signage at Jockey Hollow is in the works. Signage is one of the many ways that we're working to promote New Jersey's revolutionary heritage and to prepare for what we hope will be a massive influx of visitors to the state during the 250th of the United States in 2026. We're very excited for the 250th anniversary and all the work that's being done to uh, make this accessible to tourists and visitors. And, and again, really tell that story um, that should be shared with generations to come. These new signs will help direct not only our young folks, but people that are out and about in New Jersey that want to understand our history and be part of our history. And today is a great step in making what is something that we cherish even better. And I hope that people avail themselves of this opportunity because it's not only an educational opportunity for this area, but it's an economic opportunity for this area. I often joke that here in Morris County, we've got a certain spirit because we, because there's revolutionaries in our soil, under our feet. <laughs> uh, but yes, I believe that this should be on everyone's bucket list for traveling, uh, and we see a real increase in heritage tourism. As I drove here today in a snowstorm in my warm car, and my warm coat, I couldn't help but think of those proud, proud patriots uh, that endured those horrible winters uh, without the necessary food and clothing uh, that we all cherish as they fought for our freedom. We've always been guilty of sort of taking our story and our fight for independence for granted. And now every night when we go home, we're glued to the TV to see another country fight so desperately for its independence. So let's make sure that with respect to all our joint efforts, that we celebrate not just American independence, but the right of everybody everywhere to enjoy an independent country.